we um, let's look at another example how to find v1 of s when the um, density function is given for the continuous random variable x. So what we have over here is that x over here is a continuous random variable, continuous random variable, and its density function, density function we assume that um, it's a uniform distribution over the interval, uniform distribution over negative two-thirds and one-third. Okay. So if we write down the density function, f of x is simply going to be one if x is between negative two-thirds and one-third. And it's going to be zero if x is inside and not inside this interval, negative third and one third. Okay. So the computation part is really about expected values. So we try to find expected value of v naught um, s plus x. Okay. Remember v naught of s means you have to exercise. So you have either s minus c if s is bigger than or equal to c and zero if s is less than c. Okay. So let's, for example, choose a fixed value. So let's say c is equal to five. It doesn't really matter because that will just make the computation clearer. Okay. So because v naught of s plus x is the function, we are trying to find its expected value. So by the formula, this is from negative infinity to positive infinity. We just put this function over here and change capital X to little x, and then multiply it by density function dx, f of x dx. So that's by definition is the um, expected value. And now we're going to plug in the density function. Look at this dens density function over here. It's one only between negative two thirds and one third. So even though this improper integral looks like from negative infinity to positive infinity, it really just is from negative two third to one third. Okay. And your function over here now is simply going to be v naught s plus x and multiplied by one. And dx. So this is the one we are calculating, negative two-thirds to one-third, and then v naught s plus x dx. Now we have to uh, look at what this v naught of s plus x is as a function of x because we are integrating x. And using the formula we have for v naught, this is going to be s plus x minus c if s plus x is bigger than or equal to c. And it's 0 if s plus x is less than c. Now, we want to look, we want to show this, we want to look at this function as a function of x so we can integrate. So we rewrite it just for convenience. Um, this is the form usually we do when we say x is a variable, a dummy variable. So we swap x and s and put s and c together. Okay, and then it's over here. And this is for x bigger than or equal to, if we want to see that, it's negative s plus c. And the next one over here is x less than negative s minus c. We put s minus c together because we know that is the profit if we exercise. So that way it's easier to see the meaning of this computation. So now how do we integrate a piecewise function over here uh, between negative two-thirds and one-third? We have to look at three situations. So let's use the value c is equal to 5. So we have x plus s minus 5 
over here and a zero and x bigger than or equal to negative s minus 5 and x is less than negative s minus 5 okay like that and the tricky thing is that s is a parameter s is changing so we have to look at the integral over here for different values of s from negative infinity to positive infinity in fact after we integrate this function it should be a function of s if you still see x inside that means something went wrong so let's look at how we integrate this one now look at the interval um, we have over here um, we have interval over here 0 and um, negative 2 thirds and 1 third like that this is the interval for integration but on the other hand we don't know with where this s minus c is if you try to draw this diagram over here v naught of s plus x because the coefficient in front of x is 1 so we know we have 45 degree after some time and this is the graph we have this is the graph of v naught of s plus x um, at negative s minus c you don't know where it is bigger than this one is going to be 45 degree so this is the graph of v naught here and here v naught of s plus x now how can we put it back into the um, coordinate how can we put it over here and this is x over here we don't know where this negative s minus c is so we have three cases one negative s minus c is less than negative two-thirds two negative s minus c is between negative two-thirds and positive one-third and third case is negative s minus c is bigger than one third. We are looking at where this point negative s minus c is located. Then we have three different situations. In case one, case one over here, this is what we have. If negative s minus c is over here and negative two-thirds is over here so this is the situation okay so if we have v naught is in this case and then we know how to integrate because what we have over here this is one-third and we only need to find the area of this um, this triangle over here right and um, so this point over here let's make sure this point over here is negative s minus c and this point over here is negative two-thirds so what we see over here is a trapezoid so we see a trapezoid so you can just write down that in this case in case one the integral from negative two to positive negative two-thirds to positive one-third v naught of s plus x dx this one over here is the area of the trapezoid and you can see actually this is the area of a big triangle a big triangle like this minus the area of a small triangle okay so we can do that and it's pretty easy to do because we know this is um, we just need to look at the base times height and remember the equation for the line over here is always 
um, x plus s minus 5. So what we have over here, c is, uh, c is equal to 5, c is 5. Okay. So this one over here is x plus s minus 5. So this, this is equation over here. So we can easily find what is the height. Height over here is simply x uh, at one third. This one over here is one third plus s minus five. Okay. And then if you look at the big, uh, big, big triangle's area, that's gonna be one half is equal to base. We have one third minus negative s minus c. Okay. So this is what we have. Um, the length from this part over here is one third minus negative s minus c. Or you can simply say it's one third plus s minus c. One half base times height height in fact is the same thing because we know this angle is pi over 4 um, like that this is the area of the big triangle and then minus the area of the smaller triangle and that's going to be negative 2 thirds plus s plus c that's the length over here, this is the one. And multiplied by the height is the same thing. Um, this one's S minus C. Um, let's um, change this one, this minus. Okay, and S minus C. So really, this is one half what we have over here is one third plus s minus c. So let's put five back and squared and minus negative two thirds and plus s minus five squared. Okay, so that's what we have. Uh, if you don't like this big expression, you can use the formula that a squared minus b squared is equal to a minus b times a plus b. And you can simplify this over here. And that's going to be one half. One third minus negative two thirds is exactly one. And then you will have, add them up, you will have neg one third plus negative two thirds is negative one third. And plus twice of s minus five. Okay. So if you want to simplify this, this is going to be negative 1 over 6 and plus s minus 5. Okay, so that's the case 1. And we do the same thing for case 2. Case 2, we are going to assume that this point negative s minus c is somewhere located between negative 2 thirds and 1 third like that. So when we integrate the function, we have something like this. We have over here negative two thirds and one third. And then this is what we have. Let's again use the red color to indicate the function over here. Okay. And we're integrating from negative two thirds to one third. Okay. So we see that the integral over here is simply gonna be this area it's now a triangle. So this integral from negative two thirds to one third, still v naught is plus x dx. It's going to be the area of this triangle, of this triangle. And we can find out what's the area of the triangle. So one half. Now this point over here is still negative s minus c. We're going to use 5 over here. So we put it back, and then the base is going to be 1 third, this point, minus 
negative s minus 5, so it's plus s minus 5. It's still the same expression. And height, this height over here, is again 1 third plus s minus 5. Because the equation of this line is x plus s minus 5, right? So plug in 1 third. And then this is what we have. Uh, we don't need to really multiply that out because there is no need for doing that. And that's in case two. So it's pretty straightforward. How about case three? Case three means we have a situation like this. Negative two-thirds and one-third. And unfortunately, negative s minus c now is over here. So this is the simplest case because our integrand The non-zero part is completely out of the interval we are integrating. So this is a function like that. And this is this point over here is negative s minus 5. Okay. So in this case, the integral over here, negative 2 thirds to 1 third v naught of s plus x dx is simply going to be 0. So now we have the expected value over here. So we have the expected value of v naught s plus x. It's a piecewise function defined. Um, we're going to go back and see what kind of pieces we have. Um, we can see this one over here, the last piece over here. If negative s minus 5 is bigger than 1 third, then we have 0. Now, if negative s minus 5 is between 1 third and negative 2 thirds, then we have half of 1 third plus s minus 5 and squared. Okay. So that's the one. And if negative s minus 5 this point is less than negative two-thirds, then we are going to have the expression that we already calculated in the back. So negative one um, negative we are going to have uh, let's try again negative yeah that's okay um, we have had negative one six plus s minus five so this is one now if we look at this right hand side these intervals they are pretty bad so we're going to make it look better negative s minus five bigger than one third this one is the same as s minus 5, just multiply negative sign, but remember to switch, it's negative 1 third. So that means um, s is going to be less than 5 minus 1 third. Okay? And we do the same thing. Uh, if we look at the last one, negative s minus 5 less than negative 2 thirds, and that means s minus 5 is greater than 2 thirds. And that means S is greater than 5 um, plus 2 thirds. This is the one. So we rewrite this one over here. Then this is the value. So it's going to be 0 if S is less than 5 minus 1 third. And it's going to be negative 1 over 6 plus s minus 5 if s is bigger than 5 plus 2 thirds. And in the middle, it's 1 half 1 third plus s minus 5 squared. And here it means when s is um, less than or equal to 5 plus 2 thirds and bigger than or equal to 
five minus one third. So that is the expected value of phi naught. 